did Keir Starmer abstain from white supremacy? Gemma from Cambridge called up LBC during the Call cool Keir segment, touting an old far-right racist conspiracy theory that Starmer seems to ignore. Let's take a look. Gemma, why did your husband, sorry, you didn't quite explain, if I may go there again, why did he choose not, to, uh, choose to boo, sorry? Because if anything, the racial inequality is now against the indigenous people of Britain because we are set to become a minority by 2066. And taking the knee, bringing that into, bringing the political sphere into the football arena, um, and we just have to look across to the Middle East. You know, Israel has a state law that they are the only people in that country to have self-determination. Well, why can't I, as a, as a white British female, have that same right? Final point to you on this, Sakir. But Gemma, we, we all have those rights. This is about recognising some injustice has gone on for a very, very long time. And I think people were genuinely moved this year um, and want to make sure that that injustice is, is dealt with. And, you know, people will look at it different ways, but I think the vast majority of people do want um, a more equal society. Gemma, thank you. The leadership came under fire for not tackling her ugly great replacement rant. But the story goes deeper. It turns out that Gemma from Cambridge doesn't exist. The caller uses an online pseudonym called Jodie K, but has been revealed as Jodie Swingler, who was originally from Peterborough. She now resides in Ibiza as a yoga teacher and musician. That's according to Red Flair. Now, who is she? Jodie is a supporter of Patriotic Alternative, which is a new fascist party founded by former members of the BNP last September. You can see a picture of her now. Uh, Jodie doesn't look like your typical racist. <laughs> she looks very spiritual, sort of harmonious. Although I can see it now, she reminds me of the family from Get Out. Uh, the dad said that he'd vote Obama for a third turn then turns out to be a massive murder and racist. So it's probably not surprising. She has a YouTube channel for her far right views, it includes videos of White Lives Matter. Uh, Jenny has recorded shows with the two leaders of patriotic alternative, Mark Collette and Laura Melia. Swingler is also streamed with Edward Dutton, the former editor of the Race Science Journal, Mankind Quarterly, as well as Chris Mitchell, who was behind the groping phenomenon in the UK and PA's regional organiser for the East of England. Swingler has joined other British neo-Nazi and anti-Semitic content creators involved with PA. Using YouTube as well as alternative stream platforms such as BitChute and DLive. You can see a screenshot from a Telegram chat. An absolute masterclass of groping from Jody K here as all Keir Starmer can do is try and worm his way out of answering any of her points. Well done, Jody. Now, what is groping? According to Vice, in the UK, radio shows have been a favourite target of gropers. Neo-Nazis pose as ordinary callers with uncontroversial opinions to get past the screening. And when they get onto air, they go on racist diatribes, pushing conspiracy theories as if they're Russian bots made flesh. Groping is supposed to serve a political purpose, but it's also meant to be fun, essentially a gamified form of trolling. By putting in a call, you enter the game, and if you express a far-right talking point, you win. I will drop a link in the description because it's a very good article, so you should definitely check it out from Vice. Now, we know who the person is. Let's break down what she's saying, which was something that Keir Starmer was unable to do. She wants the UK to have the same racist laws currently seen in Israel, where Jews as the majority have more legal rights than anyone else. She wants the same principle brought over here that would legally define white people above minorities. She thinks that white people are indigenous. Britain has always been multicultural. This is part of a great replacement far-right racist conspiracy theory. Uh, people tout on this shite think there is going to be a, some sort of white genocide. Scholars have generally dismissed the claims of a great replacement as being rooted in misreading of uh, immigration statistics, unscientific racist views. It's all bollocks, basically. This, to me, is scary stuff. Look, there's, there's covert right-wing operations going on which is slipping into the mainstream, and yet we don't have the leader of the British opposition standing up for minorities. Jeremy Corbyn wouldn't let it slide. And even if he had, he would be met with fire, which is, which is right. Starmer is losing confidence among young people and minorities. It's not difficult to see why. So remember to like, share and subscribe this video because we need an independent media for independent voices.